Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are returning subscribers, welcome back. For those who are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. In today's video, I wanna actually discuss some self-care products. Some self-care products that I feel would be so essential for this time of year. Um, in my last video where I talked about, um, I just sort of mentioned about improving like some of the things that pregnant women can do in quarantine is to like improve their self-care habits and that kind of thing. Well, of course that doesn't just apply to pregnant women. That could apply to on honestly anyone. But today we're talking about self-care products for women. So I wanted to be able to um, discuss that with you guys in the event that maybe you don't have a self-care regimen or maybe you do, but you're looking for tips on how to improve it, right? So I figured, what's the sense in mentioning anything about self-care habits or self-care, you know, uh, regimens if you're not going to provide examples? So not only do I have some products that I want to share with you guys, but I also have some live demos and just my opinions on what products might be able to either start your regimen up or be able to complete it, right? If you like the way that sounds, uh, feel free to go ahead and hit that beautiful subscribe button for me and do not forget to smash that bell notification right next to it so that way you're notified of any new videos that I post. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna get started with the scrubs. I'm gonna go ahead and start you off here. There is one scrub called, it's the Passion Parties uh, scrub. I got it from, you guessed it, a Passion Party. The brand name is Ro Romanta Therapy and it is a um, in the flavor Pomegranate Ginger. It is a soothing sugar scrub and it looks a little something like this in case you're interested. As you can see, I've already used quite a bit of it. And this is actually a really, really, really great scrub, let me tell you. But this is really great just in between salon visits. This is really awesome for my feet. It smells, it smells so good. It's just got that like really sweet smell. I know it says ginger, but there's nothing that's biting or bitter or anything about it. It's just like super, super sweet. It's like smells almost florally, but it's not like old lady floral, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this product I wanna talk about cause this is like super, super, awesome um awesome is my word by the way you'll hear me say that a lot so the dove exfoliating body polish this stuff right here i'm telling you is absolutely bomb i was introduced to this when i was given a dove sort of gift pack for my birthday like a couple years ago and let me tell you something from a couple years ago to today i still swear by this stuff this is actually in the uh crushed macadamia and rice milk flavor it is bomb, y'all, I promise you. I actually use this scrub for my entire body when I'm in the shower. Um, and I don't do this every day, but I do this roughly about three to four times a week. And basically, I just use just a little bit. You A little bit does really go a long way. I ran out, so I bought a new one. And so this is my one-time use of this. So I would say, looking at this scoop, I probably used it about, I probably did like three small, three medium sized scoops and it covers my whole body. Now, if I was not pregnant and I didn't have all this belly, I probably wouldn't need as much, but your girl had to cover her body, okay? So I went ahead and um, I used this and it makes my skin so nice and soft afterwards. Even the water from the shower head falls on my body so differently. And I'm like, what do you do that at? That's like unreal to me. And if I didn't see it for myself, I wouldn't believe it. But it's true. I got it specifically from Walmart for about between six to seven dollars. It's really not expensive, especially if you don't use a lot. You can retain as much of this product as you'd like. Um, but like I said, this is this is the good stuff. And it actually has like a really nice, clean, sort of nutty smell to it. Um, it's not overpowering, which I can truly appreciate. And a person like myself who has sensitive skin, this is this is helpful. And to be totally and completely honest with you, when it comes to Dove, they don't disappoint. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna move into our next category, which is going to be skincare. Now this is overall skincare. So this is from the face to the feet. So there's no discrimination here. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay. Now, so speaking of Dove, right? Um, I went ahead and I got the Dove powder deodorant. Um, excuse me, the Dove deodorant in the powder. 
you know, it's really not a lot to say about this. It's like, oh, it's deodorant. But um, this is specific, this is a 24 hour invisible solid antiperspirant. You know what, I, I just, I'm a Dove fanatic. Like I just love Dove, right? What I can really appreciate about this particular one in powder is I've smelled other deodorants from Suave to Secret to Teen Spirit. And I feel like they just overdo it when it comes to the scents, you know? And sometimes when I have all of my other smell goods on, I'm not trying to have them compete with my deodorant. Like I really just want an antiperspirant. I just want something that's gonna keep me dry. If it has a little bit of a scent to it, that would be great. But I don't need all of the excess. Just give me the product. And that's what Dove gives me with this particular product. I'm gonna do a live demo just for y'all. Y'all please don't judge me, but I gotta let y'all know if it works. I put some on this morning, which would have been roughly how many hours ago? Ooh, that would have been about seven hours ago. Okay, so here's the live demo, okay? Live demo, and I'm gonna, I'm being honest with you guys. I do not smell the Dove anymore, okay? But I'm actually okay with that because of the fact that it was hot outside, I was sweating underneath my boobs, and the fact that I was, sorry y'all, my dog is in the background and she's so loud. Uh, but the fact that I was sweating underneath my boobs, my arms, a little bit of stomach sweat, and the fact that I cannot smell the deodorant anymore, but I don't smell any type of must or anything, that's huge. Because I don't need to smell the deodorant all day long. I just don't need to. That's my personal preference. But you know what? Like I said, it, it got the job done. As y'all know, I live in the good old hot state of Florida. Being that I do, it is imperative that I do something with my skin. Um, and so in comes Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. Y'all, this right here is a major necessity for your girl. When I told you earlier that I had that under boob sweat, that was not a joke. And it doesn't just happen to women who are pregnant, it happens to every woman who has boobs. We sweat down there, okay? Like not just like, oh, we glisten. No, 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 no. We don't just glisten, honey, we sweat. Okay, and so this is just so needed on every level. I don't use this every single day, but days that I know it's gonna be hot, I'm gonna need it, you know, this is just, this is where it's at. I, I have a little bit of a uh, disclaimer real quick, cause I wanna, I wanna tell y'all something before y'all, I, sh I show y'all this next uh, skincare product. You know, I don't have a lot of acne. Um, however, <laughs> like an idiot, I went to the store to re-up on some products that I forgot I really cannot use anymore. Being that I'm pregnant, I really have to be more careful about what's in the stuff that I buy. That being said, I went to the store to re-up on a um, kit for Clean and Clear. And with Clean and Clear, <laughs> I did not realize that I bought a, um, like a wash, like a, a, a face, facial scrub and a toner and a moisturizer. Now for me, it was great because it was like a money saver. It was, you know, I can get my face together, have a nice little treatment for my face. But it dawned on me that after doing plenty of research after I bought the items, um, yeah, that's, they're not actually recommended for baby. So um, I had to do research on this product in particular because I was looking for a facial moisturizer. And turns out that out of all three products in the kit, this is the safest one to go with. According to what I read, the, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say this word, I'm gonna attempt this word, but I'm pretty sure I have it jacked up. The salicylic acid, um, it has to ha be at least, um, it can't be any more than 2% for pregnant women. And um, this one is at a 0.5%. So this one is like, oh my gosh, thank God. So I do have a facial moisturizer that I use, but I don't have like a cleanser or anything. If you guys have any suggestions for cleansers, uh, toners or anything like that that are safe for pregnant women to use, can you guys like drop that in the comments below and let me know? Because um, I really, I don't know that. I'm not familiar with that. And I would really appreciate if you guys could just let me know so that way I can be on the hunt for these things and um, you know, just, just take a look at it for myself and see what's what. This is massage lotion from Palmer's. This is a cocoa butter that is specific to, uh, specific for stretch marks. I was using cocoa butter before, but it was just the plain one, but this one 
I went ahead and picked it up because I was like, well, the other cocoa butter is like the normal one from Palmer's is okay. But because this one was specific for stretch marks, I was like, we gotta get it. So I just started using this. So even though I am putting this in this video, this is not something that I've been using like long term. So I can't give you like an update as to say, oh, this is great. This will work perfectly because I don't want to tell you that because that would be lying. I literally just picked this up yesterday. I used it probably twice already. And um, you know, we're, I'm just gonna, I'll let y'all know as I go. But I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention because in the event that my pregnant ladies are out there and they might be looking for a product, you know, this may be a good way to go. I figure it's from Palmer's. It is the cocoa butter formula. Um, and so I've never had an issue with that brand in general. I really love that brand. It's one of the best brands out there. I think between this one and Queen Helene, um, which I believe is sold primarily at hair stores, if I'm not mistaken, this is a good way to go in terms of the brand. But in terms of the specific product, I will give you guys an update on a later video. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our daily moisturizing for the rest of our body, not just like our stomach and our boobies. Of course, I had to go with Aveeno for the daily moisturizing. This is a great, great lotion. This is something that I've used in the past and I just recently re-upped on this. Um, I'm a person that every time I wash my hands, I have to lotion. So this is so, so necessary. If y'all don't have this, y'all are really missing out. Um, the good thing too about this is that this is fragrance free, so it will not compete with anything else that you have on. If you have any perfumes or deodorants that you wanna like showcase, this'll, this'll fall back, okay? This one knows its place. The last thing for skincare are these beautiful rose water cleansing towelettes. This is the Equate brand, so this is like a little store brand. Now, I have used cleansing towelettes in the past, but I haven't used the Equate brand. I just bought this yesterday, and I can't, I've, I've been pulling these things like it's been nobody's business. Again, not only just because of the heat, but like if I'm coming in after like, yesterday was like a hard, a hard long, hot day. So I came in, opened these up, and um, put it on my face, like just, and when I tell you, it is like the most refreshing thing ever in life. This is like, this is everything. I'm like, I look forward to the end of the day just so I can use these. This is really great for um, makeup removal as well. I don't really use this for makeup removal. Uh, I, I, just, I just use it to like freshen my face up some. This is amazing. It just helps to cool me off a little bit and it smells so good. It just, it's got that rose water scent down pat. It's light. It's just, it's airy. It just makes you feel so much better. Like right now, <laughs> my body temperature has probably cooled down like at least two degrees since I started using this. But um, it's absolutely amazing. And wow, my skin is dirty. Uh, if there's something that you are interested in, hit up Walmart. I got this for like six bucks. Smells, like I said, smells absolutely amazing. And I like the quality of the towelettes too because they are nice and thick. For me, like I said, I could just use one and you've just seen how in two seconds, well, maybe not two seconds, but you can see like how I pretty much just cleaned up my face, my neck, and I'm, I'm good to go. There's a note on here too that it's suitable for people who are um, eczema prone. So I, I can't verify that. I do not have eczema, but that's just a note on there. So if you're looking for something like that, there you go. We're gonna switch things over just a little bit. So now we did a little bit of the, you know, we did the skincare and all that. So now we're gonna talk about the scents. Like this is my, this is my part right here, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all yesterday, <laughs> I went to Bath and Body Works and by accident, I came across their semi-annual sale. For those of you who have not hit up Bath and Body Works, specifically for the one here in Tallahassee, there is a really great 75% off sale, y'all. This is a really great sale. For anyone who goes to Bath & Body Works and knows anything about Bath & Body Works, that is, listen, that's the shit right there, okay? That's what it is. So I picked this up because it's, number one, it was on sale and it smells so good. So this is Champagne Rose. How fitting. This is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit and I'm gonna tell you how it smells. Oof. Oh Lord, when they say champagne rose, I think it's just, it's absolutely, they got the scent on the head right there. It does smell like a very light, sweet champagne. And it's got like the hints of like, you know, like rose, roses. And it's just, like I said, it's just very, it's sweet. 
it's light, it's airy, it's kind of got, it's like that flirty little scent. And I think it's just like, it's a really great scent if you're like wanting to go out with your girlfriends or if you have a little date, something like that. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. Next one is White Jasmine. And this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and spray this. Now this one, I like this one because this is almost like what I would what I would refer to as springtime fresh. It is a light scent, it's very light, but it's a nice, light, clean scent. You know what I mean? Like this isn't overpowering, this is just if you wanna put on something on the way out, but you, you know, you just wanna smell good, you wanna smell fresh, you wanna smell clean, that is that perfume that you put on fresh out the shower. Okay, so the next one is Coconut Palm, and this is what it looks like. Good old coconut palm. Gotta go ahead and spray that bad boy. Whew. Okay, let me just go ahead and say this up, up front. This has definitely got <laughs> a coconut smell to it, right? You almost feel like you're at the beach. And what I like about it too is that it's sweet. I like sweet scents, I, I just do. I don't want anything like birthday cake sweet, but um, I feel like that one just fits the bill to a T. All right, next is the Bahamas. This is the passion fruit and banana flower. Let's go ahead and sample this one. And this one's on the head with it, passion fruit and banana flower. Now this one, I feel like I smell more of the passion fruit than I do the banana, which is good because I like bananas, but I don't want to smell like one. This one has definitely got that richness, that fruitiness, that flirtiness, that, um, I don't know, like it's just, it just smells so good. I think that this is a really good like girls night out on the town kind of scent, you know what I mean? So the next one we're gonna go with is At The Beach. This one is a really great scent that I bought like, I wanna say like a year and a half ago and I bought it in the taller bottle. I was convinced that they did not have them anymore and so when I saw that this one was not only there but it was on sale, you know your girl had to go pick it up. So now that we're done with perfumes, we are gonna move on to miscellaneous. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with this Crest Scope. <laughs> Listen, I am not playing any games out here with y'all. Y'all can see that there, the seal is broken. This has definitely been open and definitely been used and is almost out. I usually use this like, um, like right after I brush my teeth or if it's like in the middle of the day, like I'll be like, oh, if I need my mouth to be freshened up, like I'll just go ahead and I'll just use this just do a quick gargle and before you know it, I'm fresh, I'm clean, I'm good to go. I live by this stuff because you don't realize how much you need it until you don't have it. Okay, so I have something else too that again, again, especially if you're living in the state of Florida, it is very necessary to have wipes, y'all. Y'all, wipes? <laughs> you need to have wipes on hand at all times. Like it is like, a requirement as a Florida resident, you need to have wipes. It goes to show right then and there, like you really don't have to spend a whole lot of money to develop or to create, excuse me, to either develop or improve your self-care regimen. Those are my self-care items. I feel like those are some really great staples, especially for the summer in this heat. It is just so imperative. You don't wanna stop taking care of yourself, but maybe sometimes you gotta just change things up in your regimen and you gotta, you gotta do some things that are just a little bit different. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in to another crazy episode of my life. <laughs> now I have to stress, if you guys like this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And after you've subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that bell for me so that way you are automatically notified by YouTube anytime that I post a new video. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because this video has run on a lot longer than I had anticipated. You guys take it easy and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye guys.